Hi, good to be back again. I did promise you that I'd be back with another series, and this is what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to start a series called Kuluma, and it will start on Friday next week. So when you wake up on Friday, wherever you are in the world, you'll get a little message saying, if you want to listen to so-and-so on Kuluma, here's your login. It's been an incredibly successful series of podcasts. I've loved doing it. I gather that actually they should be called video logs, so my apologies. The next lot will be called video logs. But it's been a wonderful way of bringing people together. And I've had such huge responses from people. It's been amazing. The most enormous response really was from the young Zimbabweans who call themselves the Born Frees. And they have said almost to a person, why didn't we know about this history? It's so fantastic. All we ever learnt about was freedom history. And it is fantastic. It is wonderful, amazing, exotic, extraordinary, clash of cultures. It's got every single thing anybody could possibly want to write a book about. So I want to talk about it. Not with me, chatter, chatter, chattering all the time, but I want to talk to people who were there, they might be a bit old for that, but certainly who had grandfathers or grandmothers there and who could just throw a bit more light from oral history passed down to them, from writings, from books, from anything, notes, from pioneers to chiefs to headmen to youngsters who grew up in a society that was offering education was the impact to them. Fascinating stuff. I apologize for the glorious surroundings here, but this is what happens when you're recording audiobooks in your home, not in a studio. And um, I think every blanket and every duvet and everything else you could possibly have is all draped around me right at the moment. If I really wanted to, I could do something very exotic, like going to visit the Victoria Falls, for example. And then you'd see me like this. The only trouble is when I do that, that I sort of morph in and out and my hands go into little pieces and it's very distracting. So if you don't mind putting up with the duvets and the dunas and the blankets and the pillows stuck around, stuffing, trying to keep the sound reasonable, then uh, I'll keep going as we are. But I will be talking to all these people and I would like you to come back to me and say my grandfather drove the first Zederberg's coach up. Fascinating. My grandfather was the one who advised King Lobengula to sign the Rudke concession. Why not? It was somebody's grandfather. And what about Queen Lozike. What about Lobangula himself? What do you know about him that I don't know, that nobody knows from the research world? Let's turn this history into a vibrant, living being. Because I've been really upset to watch so many of my WhatsApp groups and see the increasing level of hatred real hatred of everyone. Hatred of the government, hatred of ministers in ZANU-PF, hatred of the whites, hatred of the Matabilis, hatred of different tribes. I know hatred and fear are awful bedfellows and the way to clear that is surely to try and bring some understanding. Because one day Zim is going to come back. It'll get out of this terrible situation. It'll come back. But it will never heal unless we get that situation of saying, OK, we can all live together. And we can make this country phenomenal. So, whichever side of the spectrum you come from, whether you're black, blue, green, yellow, I don't care. Every possible area, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a, a nurse, whether you have been brought up in a mission, love to hear about it. 
What do you know about Cyrene Mission, for example? How many people might have learnt their art there? Come on, guys, there's so many stories. I've researched for eight years and I've covered, oh, just the sort of surface of it. Let's really find out and have some intriguing interviews in the process. So the series is called Kuluma, which anybody who's lived there will understand what that means. And I will be kulumaring with various people who write to me, and I'd love you to get hold of me if you can take any bit of our history that fascinates you. Get back to me. Say, look, I'd love to cover just that little bit there. It was so important. And my grandfather, grandmother did X, Y, Z in that bit. I'd love you to know about it. So would I. So, email me at jill at jillbakerauthor.com and let's see what we can put together that'll make an intriguing first or second series called Kuluma. The person I'll be speaking to next Friday is a most extraordinary person. I'd love you to meet him. And I will tell you who it is a little bit later, later earlier next week. So every Friday from now, you'll get, wherever you wake up, anywhere in the world, you'll get a little thing saying, if you want to listen, this is who I'm talking to today. I look forward to seeing you again and hope you enjoy doing it as much as I'm going to enjoy interviewing. I've always loved interviewing. What an opportunity. The only trouble is I don't have PAs helping me, so I'm having to record in my own studio and try and arrange the whole thing. So if it goes haywire, you'll understand, I'm sure. Anyway, lovely talking to you. Start the series again. Kuluma starts next Friday. I'll send you the login first thing Friday morning, but you send me in the meantime any bit of history that you were associated with, you read, you heard stories about. Let's talk about it. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.